Hi all and welcome to this video financial modeling blog tutorial. As always, if you haven't already done so, please go to Video Financial Modeling's website and read the blog post. This will help you with this mini exercise or tutorial. Okay, the thing we're going to be looking at today is financial modeling sensitivity and scenario analysis. Okay, so Video Financial Modeling has seen many ways of performing sensitivity and scenario analysis and from that experience we have found one best practice way of setting up sensitivity and scenario analysis. So let's have a look at this question. It says put in a scenario analysis manager to find what happens to the MPV of equity distributions when the below revenues and costs are changed to 55 and 40 respectively. Assume no tax and all profits are distributed to equity holders, i.e. there is no debt. Okay, so we've got a few assumptions here. The first thing, as always, we're gonna set up is a bit of a timeline. So let's go and put year ending. And obviously the start date we've got here is going to be this one. And I'm just gonna do an EO month formula and drag that out until December 2022 when we finish, okay? I'm gonna format this a tiny bit, but you don't have to. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to set up the revenue costs, and then we set everything that we get in terms of profit. So revenue minus cost is going to be an equity distribution. And equity distribution. And I'm just going to copy that across. Of course, we're going to need an inflation index because these costs, and it should say real per annum here, and real per annum here as well, these costs and revenues are going to be inflated by the CPI index or RPI index, depending on what jurisdiction you're in. So if you're in Australia, it's CPI. If you're in the UK, it's RPI. Um, um, it's probably something different in the US as well. Okay, so we're going to start off with 1 or 100%. I'm going to color that red because it's a unique formula. Then we're going to go that times bracket one plus the inflation i'm going to lock that cell f4 and we're going to drag this one across okay so that's our inflation index now we're simply going to take our revenues so f4 lock that one i might even be cheeky and let's do a column lock on this times this one and we're going to do a row lock on this one and then we copy that one across okay so we should see that our revenue is increasing. Now, I did a column lock on the previous cell because what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that down. So that formula should work already. Now, I'm going to put a negative in front of that because it's a cost, so it's an outgoing. And you'll notice that Video Financial Modeling do that in all their training courses. Uh, we find it's best practice so that you only have to aggregate the rows above. So in this example, all we have to do is take the sum of these two and we've got our equity distributions. Okay, so we've set that up. Now we want to run a few scenarios. And before we do that, let's get the NPV of equity distributions. Okay, and all we're going to do is use an XMPV, even though we could probably use an NPV formula on this because it's yearly. We're going to use an XMPV. We've got our cost of capital up here. I'm going to lock that comma and I'm going to grab the values here, comma, and those values correspond with these dates and close bracket and enter. Okay, so that's the NPV of our equity distributions and I'm just going to bold that and color it in yellow. Now what we need to do is we need to start implementing our scenario 
manager or scenario analysis manager okay so the first step we talked about in the blog tutorial is that we need to put in a scenario selector so I've just added some rows in there so shift spacebar control shift plus will add some rows in there and then we can put in one okay so that's our scenario selector and we're going to put in scenario here so we're just going to label that one that plus one and copy that all the way across so we've got five scenarios here and I'm going to color that in white and put a blue background there okay we might even put a description here description and just make sure these come out in black and we can go base case and a question asked us to change the revenue and cost so this one our base case is going to be 50 and 30 and our next case so scenario 2 is going to be rev equals 55 comma costs equals 40 okay and what we're going to do is we're going to put in our offset function okay so firstly we're going to copy and paste these across so control c and alt e s and v this is using the old 2003 shortcut otherwise you can go alt h V and then I think it's V again off the top of my head. Let's let's try that actually. Copy Alt H V and Yep, V for values. Okay. So we didn't need to do that. I'm gonna change the formatting there and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter our offset formula. So here we have offset bracket and our reference cell is simply going to be the cell that we're on already so in this case it's C19 then we're going to go comma and the number of rows is zero so we can put zero there we're just going to leave it out and go on to the columns and then the columns is going to be the scenario we select now remember in the blog tutorial we said if you've got gaps between this and this you're going to need to add a number so you might need to add a one there or something like that okay obviously we don't need to do that in this case now we can simply copy that formula down and we can now put in our second scenario so before we do that what we might do is do some conditional formatting so go up here control shift arrow across alt h l and then highlight rules and equal to and we're going to select this one and we're going to do mm, that one yep and enter okay so now you'll notice that if we change our scenario we're going to change the highlighted cell and we could do some a bit more formatting there so now what we'll see is that we need to put numbers in here okay and we can get around this and we'll talk about getting around this in a second but now our second scenario is run and our MPV of our equity distributions has gone down now let's put it back to the first scenario and okay so scenario one's this so alt h vv so send scenario one and then scenario two we've changed our revenues and costs and that's our scenario two alt h vv and you'll notice that our mpv of equity distributions has gone down in scenario two and the main reason is that the difference between the revenues and the costs has decreased okay so it was 20 in the first case it's now 15 in the second case 
Okay, so that scenario makes sense. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do another one, okay? Another scenario, inflation equals 2.5%, I think it was, yep, 2.5%. And so now we're going to put in 3 and we're going to change this one so that it's a formula. And what we want to do is I'm going to copy and paste that one across so I've got a value there. We want to say, okay, if that, so we're looking in cell this one here, so we're in scenario three, we're going to select this cell. So if that has nothing in it, what we want to do is we want to go comma and we want to select our base case. So we want to select D19 in this case. Otherwise, and I'm just going to copy and paste this one, we're going to select this cell or this formula. So we'll do a regular offset formula. So now we've got no values in here, no values in here, and 2.5% there. And, but we still have revenue and cost numbers. So that's great because we don't have to manually input every single formula down here. We just take the base case in the event there's nothing in the cell. Okay, so now scenario three is we have this 132 number. And that makes sense because our inflations decrease slightly. So that means that our revenue and costs are going to be inflated less and because our revenues are bigger than our costs we're going to get a slight decrease in the MPV of equity distributions. Okay that's pretty much all we have time for in this blog tutorial. If you like this YouTube video please help us and click the like down the bottom of this YouTube video. Alternatively what you can do is go to our website and share through some of the social media that we have at the bottom of the blog post.